Charles and Camilla have been planning this for years. So that's what the video is going to be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. We think we know what's going on behind the scenes with the royals, but we never ever do. And apparently this whole construction of, of the queen giving her consent has been in the works for years. So don't think the monarchs don't know what's going on. They do. And they know how to um, release that information in the best possible way for their image. So this is another Los Scarabio, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And so these are super gilded is what's the deal with these. All in the Rider Waite uh, iconography kind of. And a typical uh, instruction booklet that's, you know, not that great and a little bit difficult to read. But the um, what's good here is in the cards. They're kind of handy to use, so that's all good. And look at how beautiful they are. I don't know if it shows up as well on the camera as it does in person, but when you use these in person, I mean, they are really stunning. And someone feels like they're getting their money's worth. So we mix them up like this so that we kind of get our... our uh, energy into the cards and sometimes it's good to let the querent um, you know, get their hands on them just for a minute and then people get more involved you know once you've touched it it's uh, it's more appealing so here we go we'll get this going okay this is going to be Charles and Camilla and uh, regarding this uh, situation with Camilla now uh, the, the Queen giving her um, blessing that Camilla be named uh, as Charles's queen. I guess um, it looks like this may have been something that's been in the works for years and uh, and we're just finding out about it now. Um, so I'm just going to do a full Celtic cross on that whole situation of Charles and Camilla and um, you know that this thing has been going on for years. I might do a three card pull first. I think I will do a three card pull first on that and then follow it up with a f at least a dyadic cross, maybe a full Celtic cross. Okay, but first, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. Okay, what's been going on with you two? Charles and Camilla and the Queen were involved in this. And uh, so my question is, in fact, has this already been decided years ago? This thing with Camilla being named Queen, was this already decided, you know, more than a year? I said years ago. Three cards for that question. One, two, three. Charles Camilla and the Queen. They figured this out years ago and they're just announcing it now. The signifier card for that, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yeah, this looks like a yes to me. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is um, just letting us know that um, you know, this was in, uh, this was a crapshoot. This, uh, I think, was a, a, a plan that, that they, they just said, let's put it on the table and we'll see how things play out. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune. For me, it's always turning in a positive uh, direction, okay? You can come into some difficulties with this devil uh, down here at the bottom of the uh, of the wheel, but uh, usually uh, this tells me that things are going to work out in a, in a positive way. But that's the first card out. The second card for Charles, Camilla, and the Queen, has this been in the works for years? Tower moment. Yeah, the tower moment would be when the Queen dies. And uh, the final card for that is... 
<clears throat> this Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is the greedy merchant. The greedy merchant is, is proud to display all of his trophies, all of his emotional compassion. And um, yeah, I think this is telling me with the Wheel of Fortune, they knew it was just a matter of time. The monarchy is very good at letting things rest until the appropriate time comes to make a move. The Tower card for me represents the Queen's passing. And this is the compassion that uh, she's uh, showing that she possesses and is proud to display in this regard. Okay, so that's that part of that. I'm starting to get a little... Let's see if I have a sip of water here. <clears throat> so now we're just going to do at least a Diana Cross for Charles, Camilla, and the Queen regarding this situation to name Camilla Queen. I guess the idea is... You want to know is this the right thing to do um, in general. But I'm just going to let the cards speak uh, whatever story they want to tell us regarding Charles Camilla and Queen Elizabeth um, uh, regarding this decision uh, with uh, Camilla's uh, status. So we'll take six cards uh, right now. One, okay, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, what can the cards tell us about the, how wise is this decision? The signifier card, Charles Camilla, Queen Elizabeth, on this um, uh, revelation that the Queen has given her blessing for Camilla to be called Queen. Well, it's, it's the 21, it's the world card, it's the end of a cycle. And of course, the end of one cycle is the beginning of another cycle. Again, this speaks to the end of the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. The challenge to that, the challenge to that, completing that cycle, is this knight of, yeah, this is very appropriate, is this knight of pentacles. Pentacles are of value. This knight is Prince Charles coming in on his horse. His heart is slightly, his horse is slightly askew, as you can see. The horse's head is down. He's not looking fully ahead. He's washing his footing. And so, and this knight is going to fight for the value that he holds in his hand. Interesting. So, the queen, <clears throat> rain coming to an end. Charles is uh, coming in on his horse, really watching his step, holding on to his value. The uh, base of this reading, ah, decisions, uh, two of swords, swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. The two of swords is having to make a decision. And just like is depicted here, that decision is often blind. And so we're waiting till the right moment when we feel is the appropriate time to move. So that's the base of this. The base of this has been that waiting game. The past of this reading, ah, is the Empress, the number two, the Pope S. This uh, card comes to us with, first of all, it gives us um, uh, permission to use our intuition, our intuition, in, uh, tuition, in, in, intuition. Wow, I can't get that word out today. And um, and also, this um, Pope S, this Empress, for me, represents the Queen. She has all the knowledge that was necessary to come to this decision. She's had it uh, rolled up in her scroll, and now is the time when she's beginning to unfurl some of that. So this is the past. They are the, the more very recent past. The sky in this reading is, ah, so these are the lovers. This is clearly uh, Charles and Camilla and uh, and facing uh, judgment. But this is the lovers here. That's what's at the top of all of this. The queen recognizes that what a uh, an assistance her consort was, Prince Philip, in, uh, in her uh, reign. And I'm sure um, she's trying to shore up uh, Prince Charles as much as she can. And the, the final outcome for this is the surprise, is this uh, page of cups. Cups of surprises uh, are, I'm sorry, cups are value and passion and emotion. And uh, this page is coming to us with this little surprise. And that's the surprise of, uh, of, of how uh, uh, Camilla will be uh, named. Let's go ahead and do four more cards for just in general, the situation uh, between Charles, Camilla, and the Queen and naming of Camilla. The base of this reading, okay, is small term, smallish celebrations, wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And we see uh, what's interesting in this uh, depiction here, we see two women celebrating here. This is sometimes called the marriage card, but uh, for me, this is always a card that's smallish celebrations onto something bigger to come. These are the two women, uh, the Queen and Camilla, uh, celebrating uh, that uh, that movement forward. The environment that that's in is, ah, of course it is. It's this Eight of Cups having to walk it away from something of great emotional importance to you. The Queen will be walking away, uh, although, you know, not of her own volition, you know, from the uh, monarchy, which I believe she's come to love. And uh, so this is just the loss, the passionate compassion, emotional loss that this decision uh, is being made in. 
very interesting for the queen to have to make that decision regarding her own death, actually. The uh, hopes and the fears for all of this, then, okay, this is the Nine of Wands. These are the fears. The fears, is, this is Charles being embattled with all the issues, all the plans that are now going to be laying at his doorstep. So, yeah, these are the fears. The fears are for Charles's embattlement and to get him shored up as much as, as he could be. And then the likely outcome of this is celebrations. Okay, so this is good. This shows um, uh, uh, compassion. Cups, again, are passion and compassion. And so this shows uh, joyful uh, celebrations regarding this whole decision. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it was the right thing to do. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference.